Now thank we all our God, with hearts and hands and voices, who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. O oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us, with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us, and keep us in his grace, and guide us when perplexed, and free us from all ills in this world and the next. All praise and thanks to God the Father now be given, the Son and him who reigns with them in highest heaven, the one eternal God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. The desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. The glory of Lebanon will be given to it, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the feeble hands. Steady the knees that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong. Do not fear, your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer, and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become a pool, the thirsty ground bubbling springs. In the haunts where jackals once lay, grass and reeds and papyrus will grow. And a highway will be there. It will be called the way of holiness. It will be for those who walk on that way. The unclean will not journey on it. Wicked fools will not go about on it. No lion will be there, nor any ravenous beast. They will not be found there, but only the redeemed will walk there, and those the Lord has rescued will return. They will enter Zion with singing, everlasting joy will crown their heads, gladness and joy will overtake them.
and sorrow and sighing will flee away. And cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. From there he set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there. Yet he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For saying that, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed, and the demon gone. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech and they begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd and put his fingers into his ears and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one. But the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astonished beyond measure, saying, he has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
we call upon you, God. For through you all can be made whole. Hear us as we raise to heaven our concerns for the people of earth. We pray today for those who long for the healing that human hands alone cannot offer. We pray for those who suffer mental anguish, who worry, feel anxiety, fear the future. We pray for those who mourn, who grieve the loss of love or of a loved one, and for those who know within themselves or see in others a loss of ability or agility a loss of choice or independence, or a dimming of the light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray today for communities in which people deal with disaster or terror, hunger or poverty, war or conflict not knowing how or when their difficulties will end. We pray for those who are victimised because of their race, background or history, because of their gender or sexuality, because they are different, and for all who are abused, abandoned or degraded. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And, remembering others in our minds, whose deepest needs may be known to God alone, we commend them to the affirming and restoring grace of God. And we pray for those who continue the holy work of healing in clinics and hospitals, hospices and counselling rooms, and around kitchen tables. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we offer all these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, whose hands are strong to hold and heal, to wipe away tears and to protect in danger. Amen. And now, as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, so we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all, today and forevermore. Amen.